Brian Cox once said, when we look into space, we look directly at our own origin. We are children of the stars. He understands that before the Big Bang, something unimaginable occurred. It's hard for most people to grasp the immense conditions that led to everything we know today, stars, the Milky Way, millions of other galaxies, and ultimately, ourselves. As an esteemed astrophysicist, Cox strives to explain this incredible state of the universe in a way that is accessible, offering insights that might help answer fundamental questions about our existence. Who are we? Where do we come from? What are stars, and why do they exist? These profound questions have intrigued humanity since the dawn of thought. As we stand on our tiny planet, which is but a speck in the vast universe, we seek to comprehend the meaning of it all. With the help of telescopes, we peer billions of light years into space, yet the more we search, the more questions seem to arise. It sometimes feels as though the universe is evading our understanding, answering questions we are not yet capable of grasping. While Brian Cox acknowledges that the cosmos remains largely mysterious, he is confident that the universe can be explored and its secrets revealed, if we look closely enough. Was there truly light at the beginning? Cox once remarked, light is the only connection to the universe. This raises an intriguing thought, could science and religion share common ground? Both aim to explain the creation of the world, the laws governing it, and our place within it. The Bible states that God created the world in seven days, and light appeared quickly. Science, on the other hand, posits that for hundreds of thousands of years after the Big Bang, the universe was in darkness. Because humans can only detect light, scientists believed we would never be able to observe the universe's beginning. Telescopes rely on filtering light that has traveled billions of years, and without light, there seemed to be nothing to observe. However, with the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, something extraordinary happened. This remarkable piece of technology allowed us to peer 13.6 billion years into the past, close to the time of the Big Bang, which occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. To the surprise of many, the images revealed well-developed galaxies, contradicting the assumption that the universe was completely dark at that time. This discovery challenges long-held scientific beliefs and raises the possibility that light, and perhaps matter, existed much earlier than previously thought. Could the Bible be correct in suggesting that light was present from the beginning? To understand this, we must first ask, what is light? Before the Big Bang, there was light, as renowned physicist Richard Feynman suggested when he famously said, if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it yet. Albert Einstein was the first to describe the nature of light, believing it to be composed of individual photons that interact with electrons to generate visible light. These interactions create electromagnetic waves, forming light as a result of forces like rotation, friction, or collisions. At the subatomic level, even smaller particles constantly fluctuate, appearing and disappearing, interacting with dimensions we have yet to explore. These fluctuations generate waves and radiation, forms of light that exist beyond our ability to perceive. Feynman was one of the first to grasp the true implications of quantum mechanics. Quanta, the smallest particles, form the basis of all matter, not the stars or planets. These particles behave unpredictably, existing in a state of potential until they are observed, at which point they take on fixed forms. This brings us to a fundamental realization about our universe it may be just one of countless potential realities. The universe as we know it could be one visible manifestation of infinite possibilities. According to Cox, before the universe, there couldn't have been nothing. Particle physics aims to explain what everything is made of and how it's all connected, from the smallest particle to the vastness of space. While science is often perceived as purely rational, Cox reminds us that it is much more adventurous, full of mystery and exploration. Scientists have attempted to uncover the secrets of the universe by breaking particles down into their smallest components, but no matter how far they look, 
the origin of creation remains elusive. Even the theory that matter formed in the early stages of the Big Bang is not without doubt. Einstein's theory of relativity implied that nothing existed before the Big Bang, yet quantum physics suggests otherwise. According to this theory, particles cannot be entirely destroyed, and the information that formed them remains. This revelation leads us to ask more questions. Where did this information come from? Some quantum scientists propose the idea of a quantum fluctuation, where particles emerge, neutralize each other, and disappear again. In this, nothingness, no space or time existed, yet it contained everything. Within this fluctuation lay the potential not just for our universe, but for many others, universes we cannot even begin to imagine. Could there be other versions of our cosmos, some radically different from the one we know? These thoughts push the boundaries of our understanding and may drive us to explore new ways of thinking if we hope to fully comprehend the universe and our place within it.